Beer, 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 beer. The cause of and solution to all of life's problems, according to Homer Simpson. Beer is one of the oldest types of alcohol, and also one of the most widely consumed. It's the third most popular drink overall after water and tea, and the reason white men with brown hair and beards are getting fat after 30. <laughs> the process of brewing beer often involves a lot of terminology that's less complicated than it sounds, such as fermentation of starches. Starch in this context refers to things like wheat, rice, corn, and oats, though for beer, by far the most common is barley. Specifically malted barley, which means it's been given a little toasty toast. Fermentation just means converting carbs into alcohol using a microorganism, in this case yeast. And that's brewing. You can get a little more complicated by going through the full process of how it's all done. Hot water and malted barley go into the mash tun. Picture the Grape Lady Falls video from 2005. <laughs> This makes sweet water, known as wort, not that kind of wort, where hops are added for bitterness and added to copper for a little boil, into the hop back, which no one knows the purpose of, and through a heat exchange, where yeast gets added to then convert the sugar into alcohol. Now it's in a bottle or a can, and that's where you come in. My favorite beer is either Dvakohoti's Misni Pivo or Dogfish Head's Worldwide Stout. Fair warning, I love craft beer and it was my job during the pandemic, so I will not be able to keep my bias and excitement from mixing with the information in this video. However, I happen to be trying to phase out alcohol as much as possible right now because it's for sure a horrible poison. But nonetheless, it's delicious and a fantastic social supplement. While most modern beer has a collection of similar practices and standards, the golden liquid goes as far back as Mesopotamia, who had a goddess of beer named Ninkasi, which is about the coolest deity I've ever heard of. The average beer is between 4 and 6% alcohol, but you can find it as low as 0.5%, all the way up to 20% in certain places. The highest alcohol beer I'm aware of is Snake Venom. Sitting at 67.5%, it's stronger than most liquors on the market. If I recall correctly, they use some sort of freezing process to distill the alcohol down, but don't quote me on that. The word beer comes from the Old English word beor, which itself comes out of the Germanic branch of Indo-European languages. Ever wonder why they say hund and we say hound? Germanic. We know ancient Egyptians drank beer because they drew pictures of it. And not to bring up Dogfish Head again, but Dogfish Head's Midas Touch is a beer brewed with 2,700-year-old drinking vessels found in the tomb of King Midas. That's the guy who wished everything he touched turned to gold, and then realized it was a huge mistake when literally everything he touched turned to gold. Also my favorite episode of Wishbone. What's the story, Wishbone? It contains honey, white musket grapes, and saffron, so it's closer to a beer-wine-mead hybrid. But you should definitely check it out if you get a chance. The oldest version of modern beer is Pilsner Urkel, which was invented in the city of Pilsen in the Czech Republic in 1842. The story goes that the people of Pilsen had become so dissatisfied with their beer that they dumped it into the streets. They then hired a Bavarian man by the name of Joseph Grohl to brew a new beer for the city, which became Pilsner Urkel, the first pale lager. Fun fact, Czechs consume the most beer per person in the entire world. Another fun fact, Czechs just call the beer Pilsen, because that's the name of the city it comes from. I know this because I'm filming from Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic, which is only about an hour by train from Pilsen. And if you go to Pilsen and take the brewery tour, they'll serve you an unfiltered glass in the cellars out of the original Pilsner kegs, which is the only place in the world you can drink Pilsner or Kell unfiltered. Highly recommend. And while 90% of beer consumed in the world is based on the pale lager, there's a plethora of different styles available, primarily in the craft beer market. Barley wines, IPAs, brown ales, Hefeweizens, Belgian sours, stouts, porters, New Englands. Within each style are different approaches from different breweries. So for example, almost all barley wines are heavy and sweet, but the weight and balance of cherry and date flavors will vary. Or Hefeweizens, which often taste like banana or bubblegum, might be brewed to taste lighter or with strawberry to balance things out. It's a joy to go to a taproom with a variety of brews. Just search Best Craft Beer Bars in a major city near you and order a flight full of tasting samples of different styles. It's recommended not to let this get too much of a stranglehold on your life. It's super fun to indulge in, especially if you have money and friends, but it's also great for diabetes and liver damage. As of 2023, the World Health Organization in Europe just straight up said, no amount of alcohol is good for our health. Try bringing this up in a social circle, and it's almost guaranteed that someone will say there's ulterior motives at play. While no one ever suggests that the mega corporations profiting from your consumption will do anything in their power to keep you buying. There are no conspiracies when you like something. Also, if you do go ahead and read the article, you'll know that I'm leaving out some information because it's either obvious or unnecessary. 
Beer gets packaged after it's made. Some beers are bottled, but others are on draft. It is true that draft beer generally tastes better than bottled. I'm not actually sure why now that I think about it, but it's common knowledge in the beer community. If you ever see Pilsner or Kell in a bottle, do not buy it. There's a fairly dramatic difference between the bottled and the draft version, and the bottled is notably worse. You may have never stopped to consider that most beer bottles are brown. That wasn't always the case. The practice wasn't invented until 1912 by the Joseph Schlitz Brewing Company in Wisconsin. Why does Joseph Schlitz sound like a guy who's trying to scam you? It turns out the brown glass helps protect from harmful outside rays. I assume that means sun rays. Could mean Ray Charles. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Ray Allen. In my opinion, the most interesting beer invention is the IPA. You may have heard people use the phrase India Pale Ale. Ever wonder why that is? The story is that normal pale ales are being shipped from England to India and going bad during the journey. So people started putting in more ingredients, namely hops, to help it survive. The result was a much more bitter, or hoppy beer, which had a major surge in popularity as craft breweries started picking up steam. Which is probably why you've seen a guy that looks like this talking about them at some point. If you want to make beer yourself, you can always try your hand at home brewing. It sounds like a lot of fun, and it can be, but you've basically got to become Walter White if you want to do it well. Brewing requires a sterile environment, lest your concoction become infected, destroying your entire batch. Apple, banana, and butter are all common off flavors when something goes wrong in the brewing process. The chemical responsible for buttery off flavors in beer is called diacetyl. And if you ever want to freak out a brewery manager, all you have to do is make a face and go, I think I'm tasting some diacetyl in this. And they'll whip it out of your hands lickety split before apologizing and attempting to buy your silence. Another fun pursuit if you become passionate enough is to pursue the beer equivalent of a sommelier. You can say beer sommelier, but the way cooler title is Cicerone. Not the eccentric jester from Skyrim. This one has an N. Becoming a Cicerone means you've earned the right to be condescending. And you can spend the rest of your days telling people what beer pairs with what food, and watch their distaste slowly build as they mourn the loss of the person you used to be. The only other ingredient that's guaranteed to make beer taste better is the like button. Clicking it automatically makes you a better person, and allows me to get closer to becoming a YouTuber full-time. Help me out, fam. See you guys later.